Hey everybody, it's Max and Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club taking a look at a 1966 MGB convertible. We'll take a quick overlook at this car and then we'll go in depth and we'll even take a look at some of the functions and then we'll take it for my favorite part, the spin. That's where this car really shines is uh, driving it. So uh, first off, we're looking at a uh, red exterior, really nice straight lines, nice body too. This car is previously owned by a pilot for the past 13 years, uh, privately owned uh, by a com private commercial pilot, I'll add that, um, and it really just kind of shows with how this car performs and handles and the attention of detail to it. Yeah, we tracked this car for uh, a couple months. He was uh, in, uh, in Sun Valley doing business, came in. Um, specifically looked us up, talked about his car, shared a bunch of photos, and we liked enough to send good old Max, our road warrior, um, out uh, on a couple day trip to go pick it up and bring it home. So um, this one is, we were uh, looking at it for quite a while, and then we were duly impressed, and we hope you're the same. So you can keep walking us around it here, Max. Well, one thing I really like about these earlier NGs uh, are that they have the steel bumpers. I would not go chasing one of the later ones with the big plastic bumpers. Um, and on that note, this chrome is in incredible shape. Even all the trim, too, and the grill, those can easily get dinged from just rocks. And uh, they're just nice and straight. That emblem's in really good shape. Yeah, we were on a trip and. Uh we're going to be passing through the Seattle airport, um, and so we were hoping that he could bring it up the airport while we had a layover, and uh, you know, and rightfully wouldn't do it. He said that would be more road time um, <laughs> than this would see in a year, so he just didn't want to uh, risk bad weather and um, the trip over to the airport. So Love this car with the wire wheels and proper knockoff hubs. Very classic uh, styling there. And so what kind of surprised me on this is um, it is a convertible, but uh, the frame does not fold down. You know, you've got these little clips that it goes into and secures the side Structure post. starts here. And then, of course, the front clip. Sorry about that uh, open door there. Just trying to get more light on the subject. And so the frame just tucks neatly into the trunk here. And so you just have to put the frame together and then put the top on, which I really like just the look of it without, you know, just, just the full convertible style. But that is something that even though it is a frame that comes off, it all fits neatly in the trunk and off you go. So that top, Max has done a good job, got us nice photos showing that top while it's on. It's a nice snug fit. Um, the top's not blown, uh, seams, rips, tears. Your, uh, your plastic is in good shape not blown out as well. So fully functioning if you do end up hitting some rain. Cool detail, um, this car has been mostly restored over the past uh, you know, decade or so, but they had the attention to detail to even add in the license plate lamps, which is really nice to see. And those do function. The chrome's in really nice shape. Your taillights are really clean, no cracking, fading, or aging there. Also your trim down the side is looking really sharp. One quick note on the paint. so. Well, you can take a look at our photos um, and our underside video, but um, just absolutely gorgeous underneath. Uh, the previous owner did paint it, and then we started having a few little uh, dots start to show up, mostly on that trunk lid. So whether that's improper uh, prep, you know, just note that you've got a bit of that. Um, that should be noted, but that being said, the true, the true uh, enjoyment on this car is its drivability. Yeah, it's I mean, it's. I'll let Max talk about that. He, he had an opportunity to go up a ski hill, um, take it up the a freshly paved road, going up to uh, Bogus Basin, and uh, just whipped it experience? around. I just yeah. whipped it around. It's a, everything's mechanical on this. It's not a modern sports car. It's a true British passion driven vehicle and you can just whip it through the corners. It's very light on its feet. Uh, the tires are in great shape. The transmission shifts flawlessly. There's no, nothing spongy about it. Everything's on point. Everything's just right there, the steering as well. Um, and it really shows 
thanks to all of these records that we have here. Um, I'll just start with this cover. He hand drew this. This is how passionate he was about his car. Um, this is just kind of a um, uh, an overview of everything that's been done lately. So you're looking at fluids, brakes, gearbox, engine, suspension, diff, um, dampeners, clutch, distributor, water pump. We've got dated uh, notes on when things were done. Loving this detail. Handwritten. Yeah, he's got some good penmanship. And then we've got some uh, records on a complete rebuild of that engine that was just done less than 500 miles ago. We'll pop the uh, engine compartment and take a look in there. You know, close to $2,000 there. Um, I have some photos too that's very cool to see the. While you get those out, I'll just keep it. looking around. So, uncracked on the dash, correct, bright gauges, and those seats are in good shape, they do show wear, really comfortable to sit in. I'm going to call that worn in, Yeah, because I love the way that this feels, and it's true genuine leather, it's, and they're actually really supportive seats too. So I did not get to go on the uh, on the uh, the big ride. I just took this one out down the private airport a tour that we're going to do just real quick. Can't even call a tour, and this car immediately put a smile on my face. It is so tight. So full engine out. You know they went they went through the whole thing, and it was done by a British specialist. New pistons. This also has, um, and I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but it has a specific oil to British oil with a, an odd weight. Odd to me, um, but not odd to probably a British specialist. Um, but that's all in the notes. Yeah, so fantastic. So not only the engine rebuild, uh, transmission shifts flawlessly and just no creaks or rattles on my test drive. I know Max has said the same thing. Maybe we can uh, open up that uh, compartment and take a look. I'll take a look at this door while we're doing that. Yeah, all those cranks and pulls are in really nice, nice shape. Everything's tight, nothing's Love loose. Cracked painted jams. If we can get underneath here. We'll take a look at the underside of how clean that is. It's just the car doesn't fall apart really at any level. Alright, I'll get off the floor. There's your 1.8 liter engine that's been fully rebuilt recently. And you do see the correct uh, dual dual carburetor dual carburetors. On I always just call them carbs because yeah. I can't say carburetor. carburetor. <laughs> uh, it does have the auxiliary fan. Electric, very nice. You will hear that kick on. Look at these nice heavy duty fittings there for the. Uh, I believe that's an oil cooler. You can also check out a cool yellow fan back there. Everything looks really good. There's your trim tag. So when this car was painted, everything was put back in its proper place and not discarded. I'm sure we have a photo of that. Yeah. Okay, let's run through some of the functions. Beautiful car, but hopefully you're getting the idea that beyond its beauty, its, its best purpose is on the drive and its functionality. We've got everything working. There's your running lights. Headlights and turn signals. There's your electric fan, turn signal, wipers in effect. Uh, go for it, got it. I'll come in on, do that one more time. You got your license plate lights. Beautiful.
Doors have a nice fit. Solid and shut to them. This car does like its choke out when started. And I just depress it there. All of your gauges work. Important to note your oil pressure is really nice and your water temp is on point. My fuel gauge works as well. My clock also works. That's amazing. First gear is more or less a granny gear. Um, it also is not synchronized, so do not go from second into first with this car. Unless you're at a complete stop. But oh man, the shifter is so on point. It feels more like a uh, instrument, a, uh, a suture. down low enough or even though it's a rake backed windshield fairly low um, I'm six foot and my head's definitely below the windscreen just showing you nice steady hands off stop I guess we'll do a wacky reverse show the reverse functioning steering wheel has no cracks in it and I love the banjo style with look at that Ruby emblem shining there. Okay, we're coming up on 12 minutes. So, we're going to continue driving. If you want to enjoy this car, you can give uh, Max or Shep a call. Max is at 208-720-8854. Shep, 208-721-1973. Sorry to go long or short, however you uh, like this car. And uh, give us a shout, and we'll make sure it goes in your garage.